Hello there, and welcome to another tier list video. Today, a smaller tier list in honor of The Boys just releasing in a few days here, season three. We are doing a The Boys tier list. Hey, uh, The Boys tier hey, uh, list. The boys. Hey, uh, The Boys tier Joining list. me as always, Naomi, the Sith Holocron. How you doing? Yeah. And it is either Jedi Holocron Tyler. The boys. We love the boys. Mm -hmm. Great fiction. Piece of art. We did... Brutality. We did reviews of... The anthology show. Of the anthology show. The boys presents. Yes. Diabolical. Diabolical. Yes. And <laughs> we will be doing reviews of every episode of season three. And the spinoff show. Hopefully. No, we will. I just like to lay the groundwork just in case. No. The hopeful. We're committing to oh, yeah, I know an obsessive we're... amount of reviews in the next half of the year. <laughs> at least two a week. Just kidding. At least two a week, at least three a day. No. But yeah, let's get going. I don't remember her name. Yeah, but the... she's takes place of the blonde girl below A-Train, whose name I also don't remember, before, <laughs> after she gets killed in season one. She's like, they're like... Yeah, she's like their manager. Their handler. In like, yeah. Of yeah. the superheroes. Like, the press represent representation of the seven. She... I feel I kind of feel bad for her in the show. She gets a shit Very. in the deal. But she also kind of sucks. So, I feel really bad for her. Yeah, she's C-tier, though. Yeah. A-Train. A I hate A-Train. I fucking hate A-Train. Like... But that's the point. We're supposed to hate him. Yeah. He's just like a... He killed Huey's girlfriend. He was fucking on some weird shit with like the... He's what, a cunt. Yeah, he's just an asshole. Is he F tier? I think like he's D tier. Yeah, because it's like... F is like if we hate them, but also I feel like if you're supposed to hate them, that isn't worthy of an F. Yeah. He's clearly a villain. Black Noir. Black Noir... Is a B tier. B for Black Noir. <laughs> because we don't know much about him. But in the Diabolical show, which you should go watch, we're not going to spoil. He, we see, uh, we get, we get a little more of him and it's interesting and it's like fun to, he, I want to, I want to know more about him because he just doesn't talk. Yeah. But he, he's interesting. He's mute. And he's cool. Also, his name's kind of funny. Yeah. His name is Black Black. Yeah. Because Noir means black. <laughs> Betty Butcher. Diabolical. S tier. Yeah. Best character on the show by far. Easy. Love him. He is largely responsible for the reason why I use the word cunt in nearly every paragraph of my life. Mm. I use the word cunt a lot. Yeah, he inspired it. He inspired it because it, it. The mm. accent. Yeah, it's just so good. Carl Urban's the man. Is that the guy who plays him? Yeah. Ah. The is this the deep? The deep. The deep. He's like A train for me. Like I feel like I could put him in F, but I don't know if we should. Put I him in F. want to put him in F. Good. Let's fuck the Just... deep. A sexual assaulter, piece of yeah, shit. If you're... The animal bit is hilarious, and I love that he's on the show. But like, fuck him. The animal bit is hysterical, but just on the standard of being, you know, a, a, a sexual predator. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just for the sake of being a rapist, I would say he goes into F. Yeah. I look forward to the the him fucking animals bit going further in season three too. Yeah, like there's a scene where he's fucking someone in the trailer, and then he's just staring at the fish tank, <laughs> getting turned <laughs> on. It's so fucking gross. When and I like one it. of the funniest bits I feel like is that time where was it like a dolphin or whatever? Where he drove through the yeah, where yeah. it crashed through the window, and that was so funny. But the deep as a character, fuck, fuck him. He deserves all of the shit that he gets, mm -hmm. except for the pseudo sexual assault that he got. <laughs> Frenchie. Frenchie. I feel like Frenchie's an easy A. Yeah, easy A. I was thinking maybe S, but I don't know if he reaches S tier. But yeah, A tier. We can move him to S if we decide so. Later. Yeah, I love Frenchie. He's actually probably my second favorite character other than Butcher. Butcher. Just because like he's big simpin like me for Kamiko, you know. He is the he is a character that you very heavily identify with. Yeah, I love him. Homelander is also S tier because he's an incredible be. villain. He is 
I don't often experience the feeling of like unease when a villain is on screen. Yeah. I don't really get that a whole lot, but he gives it to me bad. Yeah. Anytime he's on screen, I am so fucking unsettled. <laughs> and the dude's just so good at playing it. Yeah. It's so he's just so good. Petit Hue. Petit Hue. A tier. Yeah. He's the man. Petit Hue. Pro tag, you love him. I like his arc in season two where he just genuinely is really pissed at Butcher. Yeah. Because Butcher does just keep kind of fucking him over. <laughs> yeah. Constantly. Now he's going to be a political advisor in season three. Mm-hmm. Big stuff coming. Working with Exploding Head Girl. <laughs> yeah. Why ain't she on the list? Put her on the list. Does she have a whole lot of personality? No. But <laughs> she's memorable. The funny thing about they're... doing this list is that it's been a long time since I've seen the show. Yeah. So my memory is a little scattered for a lot of these characters. Mm-hmm. Kamiko. A tier. Love her. Kamiko's Vicious. pretty great. Destroyer. She's just great. Destroyer. She's like a monster. You love her. You love to see it. Absolute Titan. Is her name? Maud? Queen Maeve. Queen Maeve. B tier. I like her. Yeah. She's like she's like the con she's like one of the few people in the seven who's like kinda good. Has the yeah. conflict, but she's also kind of an ass to like, especially her girlfriend. And the like, oh yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. So she's like that mixed bag, but I do like her. She's like the rip off Wonder Woman, and yeah, well, I like her costume. She's cool. I like that. Yeah, I like that she is one of the ones who actually has like, con- it was like conflicted. Yeah. Okay, this lady. I don't know who this is. is. Okay, oh, I remember now. She is the one that sent. The boys before Huey on the mission that got Lamplighter killed. Why isn't Lamplighter on this list? Damn it. I could have found a better list. But I was actually having trouble finding a list. With his very funny costume. Yeah. I I say she C tier, but she's forgettable. Honestly, no, put her D. Yeah, I don't remember. I know Billy Butcher doesn't like her for some reason, so D tier. (laughs) That's enough. Mother's milk. Mother's milk. A tier. Named after my favorite drink. Mother's Mother's milk. <laughs> I I love him. He's great. I, the whole squad. You just the got whole them. squad. There's not, is... a, there's not a boring one in the group. Yeah, their whole group is awesome. fantastic. Top of the line. What's I love it? when he gets choked out by a cock. Oh yeah, <laughs> in, the, in the season two, yeah. In the uh, what was it like? They were in like an asylum or something. Yeah. <laughs> like the guy's dick just poked through and <laughs> choked him. Awesome superpower. Oh yeah. Homelander's kid. What did he have a name? Yeah, it's called C tier <laughs> because you're just a kid. Oh, yeah, he's just a kid. He's just there. Yeah, we got. I don't remember his name. Gus Fring. That's his name. But in Breaking he's Bad. the the like the CEO slash president of Vought. Yes. So he's one of the baddies, and <laughs> we don't really get a lot with him. But and he lo- is a baddie. We love the actor. So C tier. We don't have enough. Put him at top of C tier. Starlight. I love Starlight. A tier. Oh, S tier? Fuck it, let's do it. I'm gonna say S. Hell I yeah. really like Starlight. Yeah. She is, other than Huey, she's the main character. Yeah. She's overcome growing up a church girl. Yes. And, a, and, a, and, a, and like a pageant girl. She's overcome a lot to become one of the actually good superheroes. And her powers are dope. And her costume's dope. A recovering Catholic. Yeah. Gotta do it. Recover. <laughs> Gotta get better. <laughs> and also... She's great in Jessica Jones season one. <laughs> the actress is the girl who's who gets controlled by Kilgrave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you completely fucking confused me there. Right. Now here's the actual mother's milkers. Oh yeah. Milfy mommy right here, B tier. <laughs> Top of B tier. I love she's her her and Homelander's relationship is so weird and I just love it, you know? Yeah. And she's hot and it's all fucked up. <laughs> and she a MILF and it's all just fucked up. And she's hot and like And she's kind of like a good like baddie kind of She's she's really like Was she gaslighting Homelander? Oh yeah, she's definitely manipulating. Yeah, him. definitely manipulating him. I just, I like I said, it's been a long time. I don't fully remember everything. Yeah, we got Stormfront. Stormfront, the resident the, Nazi. The Nazi, the actual Nazi. Yeah, she's a great villain, though. Yeah, she's like it's 
I will never forget, it was so funny, because they did, like, a pretty good job of making her really likable. And then... And then there's that scene where she's chasing whoever she was chasing, and she just is, like, murdering all these In the the apartment building, yeah. And then it's, like, the moment where it's like, oh, Oh, shit, she's a racist. She doesn't give a shit, yeah. I put her at the bottom of B tier, because she's a good villain, and she's, like, you like, you empathize with her at the beginning, because she's, like... She's fucking on home, like she's messing with Homelander, and like, oh, she's cool. And it turns out she's just as bad. And then it turns out she's a racist and a Nazi. And, and also, she gets her ass beat, and I love it. And that's a great scene. Yeah. This woman, top of C tier. She's like, um, Billy remember, Butcher's detective yeah. friend, Jennifer Esposito, and she's also a milf, and I love her. She's hot as hell. A lot of milfs on this show. I know. This is the, some would say this show's called should be called the milfs. The milfs. Yeah. You know, Mother's Milk is going to be getting his fill. Yeah. Next is Translucent. That's Translucent? Yeah, straight to D tier. Fuck him. I don't remember what he looked like. He uh, does have he, an amazing death. Yeah. I don't like Translucent, but yeah. I mean, he is also a, uh, creep. a creep, Yeah. as seemingly most of the male superheroes are. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Is every male superhero other than Black Noir a rapist? Is A Train a rapist? Oh no, A Train wasn't. No, right. he's just a piece of shit. I completely forgot because I forgot to count him. Yeah, the deep, creepy, creepy. Yeah, Homelander, creepy. Oh, Maeve's not one either. I said men. Oh, men. Yeah. <laughs> boo men. Yeah, boo men. And Butcher's wife, right? Butcher's wife, Homelander's baby mama. Homelander's baby mama. I say she goes at the bottom of B. She's fine. She's fine. I. She's hot. I didn't like... She's in The Flash. I didn't like how she was, like, very against leaving. Yeah. Wasn't she? Yeah. I didn't like that. But also, I kind of get it. And rest in peace. She had a brutal death. She did. She deserved better. How did she die again? Her kid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lasered the fuck out of everyone and got her. Like, yeah. it wasn't intentional. But well, yeah, it wasn't. He just, like, lost control. But that makes it her. more tragic. Yeah. But it wasn't intentional. Okay, now let's reorder these. F tier, good. Good. D tier, fine. Honestly, yeah. C tier, perfect. B tier, I think good. Good. A tier, also perfect. S tier, let's put. Let's put Starlight above Homelander just because she's a good guy and we like her more for that reason. But yeah. Just because she's hotter. Yeah. Although he's also really hot, <laughs> to be fair. I mean, not as hot as Billy Butcher. I mean, you're, you're not wrong. This is just a hotness ranking list, as you can tell. <laughs> no, if that was true, we put the MILFs up higher. Yeah, if those are two, the MILFs would be very high. Yeah. What? I like this list. I'm. This is better than I thought. I knew. I didn't see a lot of characters, but I'm like, we got this. A lot of, a lot of variety. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is perfect. a very evenly spread out list. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. I just wish Lamplighter was on this list, and maybe, like, another character or two, but... Yeah, I feel like it's... Yeah, definitely Lamplighter... Uh, yeah. After season three, though, I know we're gonna get a bunch more characters. Like, a lot of new, like, villains and people yeah. from the seven and shit. So we're gonna... I'm excited to see how this... Well, after all the, the characters shake-ups. Flows. Yeah. <laughs> There's, like, a bunch of, like, new, like, heroes in season three. I'm excited. But yeah, tell us what you think of this list. What did we get right? What did we get wrong? And are you excited for season three? And lastly, go check out our reviews of The Boys Diabolical if you want to hear about some more boys content and the guy with the really long cock would be s tier (laughs) (laughs) and until next time have a diabolical day